I'm going out today with April. Um, this is my first time wearing a hoop in years, years, y'all. But stay tuned. Okay, so we waiting on our food. The music is loud. Um, hopefully, I don't get copyright. But we on the food. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all, we took a... <laughs> We both feel it. It's a vibe. I'm lucky you want to dance. I always want to dance. I always want to dance. This is how I need to be holding it. I be holding it like this. Right. I just feel like it's weird walking like this. I feel stupid. They're not, I would wear this if I was in high school. If I was in high school. And these are men's. We, we gotta start shopping in the nigga, nigga section, y'all. Like the loungewear and streetwear. We gotta go to the man section. Definitely. Cause ain't no nigga wearing this though. Right. You wearing this type of thing. Go ahead and put a sale on this bitch. Chum. What? Ain't no. Go bro, ahead and put this. It's, it's, it's 99, so it's 100. Put this bitch at $20, ho. I will be back for it. Stop playing. Okay, so we debating on this outfit. But it looks cute. I feel like the belts fuck it up. She feels like the, the belts make, it make the outfit. It but she said it's ugly though. I said it's cute without the belts. It's cute without the belt, but the belt helps it. Mm -hmm. Like it makes it what it is. I don't think so. Put them under their pillow at night. By the morning, the worry dolls have taken all the worries away. Is that why kids? Is that why the no, kids? Teddy bears? Yeah. No. It's, it's, they, that's why they sleep with um, stuff. This is scary. That looks sad though.
I'm about to go swimming since the pool is open. I'm not letting shit stop me this year. Like, what the fuck? I drop my phone off. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I haven't been in a pool in a long time. I'm about to have fun. I'm about to have fun. Look at my hair switch. Celebrating birthdays. Um, I think I've been over it low key since I was grown. Cause it's just low key, it's depressing when you think about it that we wait one day out of the year to like make ourselves happy just to feel special, just not even on. But I'm trying to um wand curl it. I'm trying to um experiment to see if this hair holds heat um so i can wand curl just a couple of pieces not too much i'm over birthdays like every day should be a celebration of my life why am i waiting one day out of the year and i just feel like maybe it's because you know how we grew up and i don't want to call it brainwashing but it's just like you know your parents have a child every day they can't give a child what they want so like on a special day which is the day they were born we will do something special and we'll celebrate their life but we're really just aging ourselves up to be honest and we're not living life like we're supposed to uh, every day should be my best life what you talking about every day should be fun every sh day should be peace blessings welcome in so that's what i decided to do oh it does okay and also i had a baby i know you're like girl first i know some people like who the baby father none of your business get the fuck out no i'm playing but um, I had a baby today, so <laughs> I had a child today on my on my birthday, on the day I was born, not on my birthday. We want to get one birthday. So my child was born today, formerly known as the day I was born. So I'm going to go see my child. It's actually my sister child. <laughs> my sister had my baby basically. And she's also my baby. So I'm going to go see my child today. How cool is that? That my um, nephew, who is my child, is born on the day that uh, I was Put on this room basically because that's really what today is the day we was 
connected to this vessel. So, I'm excited about that. Happy celebration day. To everybody, celebrate your life every day. Don't fucking wait until the day you was put on this realm. The day your soul was connected to this body. Don't wait. Don't wait. I don't want my, my life to be I just don't want my life to be like one day out of the year or one day when I grow older each mark I'm happy or so, like it's just child now I'm over that and I'm over aging myself up anyways I mean I look hella young <laughs> I, look, I look fucking good uh, I'm not even that old anyways to be, to be saying this but still like I'm over the aging up thing. I'm over um, centering everything around this one day. Like, this is the one day I can be happy. You know? Every day. I'm finna ball out every day. I'm finna have fun every day. Every day is finna be my day. It's finna be my moment. And that's on that. And I'm not knocking people that want to celebrate, of course. You know, you got kids, you got children. I feel like, you know, maybe that is the reason why people start celebrating their birthdays. Because they didn't really have time to, like, celebrate themselves every day. But make time, guys. Celebrate yourself. Like, what's the point of living if we're not living for fun? What's the point? We do not need to be miserable every moment every second of our lives like no i don't need to wait a year one day out of the year to be like oh my god i look so no my child was born today i'm about to go see him real soon um congratulations to my sister Oh my god, I know she's excited. I'm excited to see my son slash nephew. Um, Mom is proud. Mom is proud. You made it with the flowers. Are you excited? Yes. Yes. I need to put on some, um, something for my lips. I want my child to see me cute. Thank you. Happy birthday. He's so small. I'm about to see my child for the first time. The feet or it goes like this. Oh, see out your hands. <laughs> you right. He's so white. Girl, he is not white. He ain't been touched the sun yet. Look at his forehead. He ain't got that sun. Right. Look at his forehead. No, look at his ears. His ears dark as pig. Yeah, that's what color he's going to be is whatever color his ears are. Can y'all <laughs> say cheese to my child? This is going to be your forever picture, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to. On both and he come, that's what you have on eight, those polka dots? Mm hmm You know, because my grandma had a daycare for 40 years. It's my first time. So I know baby. Oh, cool. I feel like this is six. I grabbed my hand. And then, you know, but granny. I remember her talking about she was. all in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not open to experimenting, but every time I do, what me and April do, 
it'll never turn out right but since i know this food is good i want to go to a place that i know is good i don't need to be experimenting every day or a day that i want to be happy because i know like the worst thing you ever do is buy some nasty food and i don't need that right now i don't i don't so okay, we're gonna get some duck some I want to try some other shit. I'm going to just order anything I want. Every day is my birthday. Period. time i think i might give me a daiquiri a drinky drink um i look you want to sneak some food in but i don't even feel like i'm going to be hungry i think i just want to eat because i'm watching a movie i think that's what it is i just want to i want to watch and eat at the same time but i'm gonna go get this daiquiri even though this is not gonna do nothing for me but still this is what i'm wearing today watching the black and moon i'm going to watch the black and moon i'm only brave doing this because i'm the only bitch in here but if it was people in here y'all would be just like fucking this i'd be like yeah but i'm gonna see the black and moon but since ain't nobody in this bitch i'm gonna tell y'all tell y'all i'm gonna tell y'all what i think about the movie um i might even do a movie breakdown to be honest um but, yeah, I'm just waiting. It's at 10 o'clock. Um, it's 9.42. I, hey, I was fans, about to say. Thank you for showing up early for Newbie. I'm your host, Maria Menuna. The experience even better with exclusive content and original games say. and I'm out the movies. Um, I give it a, I don't know. I feel like they could have did better. I feel like the skip was way much better. It felt way more natural. Um, I think they did too many stereotypes, like the Kool-Aid, outdated. The Molly thing. A nigga said they did Molly one time. Y'all running with the shit still. Um, I feel like the Dwayne character, which is the 
the gay black man, he low key he saved the movie. Um it's not trash. Like I don't want to say like it's trash because I done seen some trash ass shit. <laughs> and that's not it. But I feel like it could have like from the skit, it could have they could have they could have did so much better. Um I saw it coming though. The ending. I get the deeper meaning, the deeper picture that what they're trying to say, but I don't know. I feel like it felt short. Dwayne, I think that's the um main character. He saved the whole movie to be honest. I feel like him and that other girl, the um the thick girl, I feel like they it was so like it's like they wasn't acting basically. So it was they parts they puns the shit that they did the shit that they said was funny as fuck everybody else shit was just like a white person it's just feel like a white person vote with this like that's how i feel like some like black people are not writing this like i can't i don't know but i don't know it's not it's not that bad but still they could have they could have did more